I've mentioned it before in other videos, the uh, sliders, you have to, before you install the alternator, I just changed the uh, clutch pulley, before you install the alternator you got to make sure these sliders move freely, you can see this one's quite rusty, and they can take quite the effort to remove, you don't need air tools, but uh, it can help. And it would, would help if I turned it the right way. Okay, so once you have the sliders out, you clean the bore and you clean these guys here. I usually grind them a little bit. Um, you can use sandpaper. The main thing is that they, they move or slide freely. Otherwise, if they, if, if they don't slide correctly, then the case halves will buckle and the alternator can get damaged. All ready for installation. Okay, it's proof of concept. Alternator sliders are retracted, and you can see how easily it slides into place. You, you don't have to manhandle the alternator. Everything lines up really nice and easy. And then obviously when tight, provided you don't drop bolts. And then once you tighten up the bolts, the uh, slider pulls out and uh, locks the alternator into place. So that's the upper. You just gotta find the hole. That's what she said. the lower one that started and you can hopefully see this now you 
see how easily it pulled out. It's not what she sent. Can't quite get there. One. Two. Nice and secure, and it should be easy enough to get off next time.